like I love Harry Styles music. I think it's <laughs> yeah, I yeah, love Harry good. Styles. Great um, songwriter. Great songwriter. I think great Taylor, production team behind him too. Like, great. Fuck. Yeah, I think Taylor Swift is great, but I mean, who doesn't think Taylor Swift is great? I don't know that we'd ever T vibe Swift. On, on some music like that, but um, but yeah, in terms go of the country, man. Yeah. Well, she doesn't really do country. She's yeah, she's more pop now, but. I don't know. What if she goes to hip hop and gets featured on like rap songs? How funny gonna, would that, that be? would be cool? Because I don't think she's ever. I don't think so. Been on. A she rap can song. be on a nice hook. Yeah, that could be. That could Kanye. Be did Did she ever do something with Kanye? I feel like they did. No, Kanye just interrupted her at that one music. <laughs> that one music award. That so. was the catalyst that like put her. Yeah, that over pushed the edge. her. Yeah, that was the tipping point. That was it? Then she became. She was already kind of like. Yeah, she was country. She was country famous. Yeah, but. MTV famous, but then she became. Global phenomenon yep. from Kanye. Yeah, yeah. So Kanye shout out Kanye. Uh, yeah, shout out Kanye. I hope you get a. Uh, hope you get the the help you need, brother. Because Kanye, Kanye is an interesting case because I actually do really enjoy Kanye West's music, but it's almost like he like I feel like, and I don't know Kanye, so this is just me. My this is my own opinion. I feel like Kanye is one of those individuals who unfortunately knows how genius he is. And he suffers from that sort of duality of, of understanding. So he's like, he's almost able to remove himself from himself and to see his genius. And that feeds his ego and, and that can lead to trouble. He becomes a tyrant. Yeah. Nobody wants to work with him right. at that point. Right. Um, I worked with him. Have you? Him and Jay-Z on tour. Mm -hmm. uh, watch the throne. Really? How was that experience? I mean, I was behind the scenes on tour, yeah. so I mean, it was just a lot of work. Yeah. Um, what is one message you would give to your fans? One message I would give to my fans is be who you are. Be yourself. Um, there's a lot of, um, especially now with social media. So I have two little kids. And with the advent of social media and sort of this this culture of instant gratification, there's a lot of pressure on young people to sort of fit into the mold or fit into the thing that's hot right now, whatever that thing may be. Yeah. Um, and chasing it could, trends. Yeah, chasing trends, and it could steer you in the wrong direction for you know for your for your life, right? Like especially um, you know one false move, right? You know, I forget the exact saying, but it's something like, you know, you become like the, you become exactly like the five closest people you hang out with. Right. Like, so one, one thing I would tell my fans is just be yourself. That's what I try to do in my music. Right. Like I, I hope it resonates with people and I hope it impacts them and I hope they can see some of the messaging behind the music and they can learn some of the lessons, but I'm still learning myself. Right. Like I think learning and, and struggling is beautiful because that's where the growth happens. So you should never be ashamed that, you know, you're going through something and you should just own it and represent it. Um, and, and that's why I make music, you know, personally, 